As the church, we presented our desires and uh, uh, desires in the 2010 constitution. They were ignored. When the BBI team task force started off, we presented our desires mm. and our memorandum to them. Up to and including now, what we can say is the church has been ignored. Yes. In other words, the, those concerned are taking the church for, for, a right. for granted yeah. because we have, pre, we have presented. We went there, we, talk, we, we presented our documents, we made our presentations, but they have not been, uh, they have not been captured. Don't, don't forget, don't forget that according to the census, the last census, we had 82%, 82% Christian. And what eventually we are going to do, what eventually we are going to do is that we are going to rally behind ourselves. Exactly. The church to come together. Yes. And say from the church, we are now presenting a candidate yes. of, in every constituency Kabisa. who will have the interest of the church. And we have the capacity and the ability to do, to do that. 2010, I was, a, I was the chief campaign mm. officer of the church. I, uh, I ran all over presenting the issues of the church. We have put them down and we have presented them, but they have been ignored. We, 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 we capture we, and we appreciate the spirit of the BBI, mm. Building Bridges Initiative. There is, no, there is no D there representing destroying bridges. So what we need to do is to make sure that all the bridges are repaired, including right. the bridge of the church. I was one of the leaders who appeared before the committee at the Lyco Regency. Unfortunately, like we have said, unfortunately, what we presented at the Lyco Regency to the committee was not picked up, Nothing. not even captured in the BBI report. Nothing. The question is, in 2010, and I remember Bishop Marquis here is going to answer partly uh, what I'm saying. We stood as the Kenya Church and we made it abundantly clear that we will not support the 2010 constitution that time. And our stand was a big no. And I remember even Bishop Mark himself making it very clear that we have voting cards. But we were told later, what to petition Sasa to Rekebishe? Badae. Badae Nirini. Is it not now? Ten years. Ten years after that. And the audit of the 2010 constitution has not been exhaustively done. Mm -hmm. That's why the Kenya church leaders are actually standing saying, we welcome the Building Preachers Initiative. Uh, there are good recommendations in this document, but we are concerned that the issues that were raised up by the church have been ignored. And so the question of them saying they are not going to accommodate any, any proposal, I think this could be their BBI. If it is a BBI for this nation, it should be accommodative. They said they are all inclusive. How can we be all inclusive when we have no representation and we are not ready to hear our, our proposals and what our concern is with the public? We represent almost 8 million, oh, 18 oh, million yeah. Pentecostals and, and, and Evangelicals charismatics. and Charismatics. So we are not just talking here as bishops. We are talking on behalf of our people in this country. Mm. The poor, mm. the rich, uh, and those who are really marginalized. So I think this message should go to Honorable Laila Odinga, should go also to the president himself to understand that we are representing the nation also.